I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on complex numbers. These are our initial videos in which we are trying to understand how to calculate the argument. Now the question here is, state the value of each of the following. You can use calculator if required. A. Argument for 3 minus 4i. B. Argument for minus 2 minus 3i. Argument minus 3 plus 5i. Now, let us first uh, sketch the diagram to place it on the argument chart. Now, here we have 0. That is the real axis. This is the imaginary axis. We are looking for 3 minus 4i. So, 3 minus 4i means uh, we could be 3 units here and 4 down, right? So, somewhere kind of like this, right? So, that position gives you 3 minus 4i. Now, the answer for this has to be between minus pi to, so theta is basically from minus pi to pi, correct? So, that is the answer which we are looking for. We can use the calculator and find the value. So, the value of theta is basically equals to tan inverse of y over x, so which is minus 4 over 3, correct? So, set your calculator to radians, that is the first thing. All the answers should be given in radians. So, 4 gives me radians. And shift tan inverse minus 4 divided by 3. So, minus 4 divided by 3 gives me minus 0. Point, so, we get the answer as minus 0. 0.927. So, we are going to round it to three significant places, okay? So, that is what we get and that is perfectly fine. Now, the next one here is uh, argument minus 2 minus 3i. So, let us also sketch this one. So, minus 2 minus 3i, we are looking for that side. So, I will this time sketch it kind of like this. Okay. So, in this case, minus 2 and minus 3i means somewhere here, right? Now, as you can see, the solution should be something like this. We are looking for that angle. So, theta is this angle, correct? So, let's try to calculate using the calculator. So, when we use the calculator, we'll use tan of minus 3 over minus 2. So, basically, that is going to be the positive value, correct? And uh, what do we expect? We expect answer in quadrant 1, correct? So, let's do it. So, we get shift tan inverse, I should say. So, we'll do shift tan inverse. I'll write 3 over 2, right? 3 divided by 2 since it becomes positive. And what I get is 0 0.98. Now, this 0 0.98 is not our answer. You get the idea? This is 0 0.98. We can round it to 3. Our answer is this, right? So, how do we get that solution? Now, as you can see, using calculator, we have to be slightly more careful. Since we are in quadrant 3, right? Since we are in quadrant 3, to get the actual value, we'll actually do minus pi, right? So, we are not here, we are there, right? So, we have to do minus pi to get our answer. So, from here, we are going to do minus pi, right? So, which is this, and that gives you the right answer, and that is minus 2.159. You get the idea. So, we have to do minus pi. This is kind of very important to understand. So, I am writing here 0. 983 minus pi and that gives you minus 2.158 so i give an answer to three decimal places let me write down here all answers to three decimal places not significant right three decimal places okay now the next one here is argument minus 3 plus 5i you can now pause the video answer this question and then look into my suggestions, right? So, we are talking about now in quadrant 2, right? So, so, let's sketch this here. 
minus 3 phi y will be kind of here, right? Okay. So, the angle which we are now looking into is this angle. So, let's use the calculator. Find what is tan inverse of 5 over minus 3. So, if I do shift tan inverse of 5 divided by, let me put it in brackets, minus 3, right? Two brackets. And then what do I get? I actually get minus 1.03. Now, see, minus 1.03 is directing us to this place, right? Which is not our answer. Do you see that part? So, this is, this is the answer which they are giving minus 1.03, which is wrong. Actually speaking, we have to add pi to get the correct answer. So, to find the argument, it's kind of important to add pi, right? So, we have minus 1.030, we'll add pi to this, correct? So, we'll add to this pi to get the correct answer. This answer now is 2.111, correct? So, that is how using calculator, you can find the correct value for the arguments. Remember, normally the calculator is only going to give you answers in quadrant 1 and in quadrant 4, right? If you are looking for position in 3 and 2, in that case you have to do some adjustments, right? So, the idea here is to understand that in this quadrant, we will do always, let me rewrite this so that you get the idea, plus pi, right? So, we'll do tan inverse of y over x, but you're going to add pi to this. Is that clear to it? Right? You'll add pi to this to get the right answer. If you are in this quadrant, then it should be tan inverse of y over x, and you to subtract pi in this case to get the right answer. Is that clear to you? So that, so that adjustment should be done. I hope that is absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comments, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.